You're watching Outdoors Del Marva with Mike Parker and Captain Willie Dykes, coming to you this week from Ocean City, Maryland. While this place is known as a summer tourist playground, it's a year-round home for working watermen, and recently this heritage was celebrated. It is an expo dedicated to the commercial fishing and sport fishing industry, so it's really neat to show what the commercial fishermen do day in and day out. In its fourth year, Harbor Day at the Docks has grown to become a family function. Held on the first Saturday of October, it's the perfect kickoff to the fall season. Sponsored by the Ocean City Hotel Motel Restaurant Association, it's an event that transforms the commercial fishing harbor into both playground and classroom. Female are the big ones, the little ones are the male. Yeah, the male in that species, the male is always small. It's a, uh, a painting, a uh, plain air painting done outside of the inlet and also uh, of the, the dock here. I have several paintings of the dock. Um, Seaborne, one of the ships here. For those just taking a stroll, you'll meet everyone from artists inspired by the working watermen who board these boats for days at a time, to seafood peddlers who take the day's fresh catch and act as middleman before it hits the table at your home or at local restaurants. This is not just a summertime thing going on in Ocean City. They're fishing year-round. As a matter of fact, a lot of the rockfish are that's really hitting hard in October, so they're going out all year round to catch what's in our local waters. While kids work on crafts that will become souvenirs inspired by maritime themes, others are sharing knowledge. This is a nice little boat. It's a 10-foot. It only weighs about 43 pounds. Teaching curious onlookers about the strange and sometimes fearsome props they've brought along, which to them are just part of their average day out on the water. And, uh, one of the things I thought was important is also to get some signs up that will remind people throughout the year, even when there is not a festival, that there's some really neat culture and tradition that takes place and has taken place since the inlet has opened in 1933. So the next time you're grabbing a bite to eat in West Ocean City, be sure to do a little reading too. Signs like this tell an important story.